It's hard to calculate the impact that philanthropy has had on medicine through the centuries. Here at Johns Hopkins, it's responsible for more than just the inception of our institute. In 1915, Diamond Jim Brady gave a donation that made the opening of the Brady Urological Institute possible. And today, we stand on the shoulders of the men and women who've come since Diamond Jim Brady and have helped us on this journey of discovery. That journey has included advancements that have redefined urological care for millions, saving lives and enhancing quality of life. Pioneering breakthroughs, like the first radical prostatectomy in 1904, ushering in the era of surgical interventions, to the first purposeful nerve-sparing radical prostatectomy, preserving sexual function. The Brady has contributed tests, techniques, and training that are standards of care around the world. Looking to the future, researchers continue to expand our understanding of the genetic components of disease, providing life-saving diagnostics, surveillance, and treatment. My history with Hopkins and my personal histories are, are actually interwoven. I'm originally Lebanese, and at age 16, I came to the United States, and boy, did that change my life. Because of the situation in the Middle East, I had to make a new home for myself here in the U.S., and dealing with that adversity, that challenge, that uncertainty really shaped me and really instilled in me a, a level of concern for people, a level of care for people, because just like me, you know, everybody comes to us with a story and, and really it, this is what Hopkins and the Department of Urology is, is all about ultimately. And this led me to now be the director of this uh, department, which is uh, very surreal. My vision for the department is in line with the vision for Johns Hopkins Medicine broadly. We're a growing healthcare system and expanding access to patient populations that previously did not have access to Hopkins quality care is very important to me. What started as a single hospital has grown into an integrated network with locations in Baltimore, Howard County, Washington DC, and Pennsylvania. Every year, our footprint expands, allowing us to bring Hopkins quality care to more and more people throughout our community. And with virtual telehealth visits, we're meeting patients wherever they are. Additionally, expanding the size of our department to be able to provide this access. But through this expansion, we also hope to bring people into the field of urology who traditionally were not represented in our field. Less than 10% of our urologists are, are females, and even less are underrepresented minorities. And one of my big initiatives is to enrich our field with a diversity of thought, diversity of approaches, so that we can do better for our communities, but also create better research. So we're very proud that we've started this work at Hopkins, and we'll continue to do that. Today, with the increasing complexity of diseases and sophistication of technology, the costs of medicine have never been higher. But the Brady Urological Institute is committed to pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Innovations including customized 3D modeling, augmented reality, robotics, and more, the Brady will continue to develop and implement the latest technologies to deliver the very best in patient care. I'd love to widen the array of research offerings that we have. We will always focus on prostate cancer, but we are doing so much more in many other diseases, bladder cancer, kidney cancer, pediatric urology, reconstruction. There's so much more that we're doing to help solve the problems of today and, and tomorrow. And all of that is made possible by philanthropy and partnering with our patients. People come here expecting the best, and I'm incredibly proud to lead this group of people who've come together with a common goal of quite simply delivering the best care.